recipe for the British weather just this afternoon is far too long to list. Something slightly simpler over on the continent, clear skies, pretty chilly by day and by night, but a little bit of sunshine. Sunshine is in short supply at the moment, though, across many parts of the British Isles. This whole band of weather is tied in with some fronts, some pretty active fronts, too, moving towards us. And the first of a real humdinger of a low pressure which is going to move across us in the next few hours and then the process will be repeated as we move that one through on Wednesday and then the tail end of the week we get something slightly more subtle across the south but notice more isobars in the north always a greater chance there of windier conditions and some wetter weather too. As the day really got going, you'll see that that whole band of cloud and rain has pushed its way across Northern Ireland and into the western side of Scotland too. And that is only half of the problem, because at the same time we've seen some very strong winds pushing in through Northern Ireland, the western side of Scotland, and those winds will gradually propagate across the whole of the British Isles as we move on through the next couple of days or so. Now, things have been very wet and at times very windy too. If the camera would oblige, it would probably wobble and it would have every right so to do because the winds have been very strong, not only in Northern Ireland, but also across the western side of Scotland. And the combination of those features will make for some very tricky driving conditions across those regions right on through the rest of today. The problem will also extend into the western side of Wales, down into the west country as the day progresses. Further east, a different story. The last of this morning's fog is still hanging on there, and it is a dull old day. And where you keep the fog, temperatures no better than 5 degrees. But out to the west, at least it is turning increasingly mild. Now, overnight, we're going to shift all of that cloud, wind and rain across the British Isles, leaving um, showers merging together at times across the far west of Scotland, and it will be a frost-free night. A mixture of sunshine and showers to start off the day, save for that western strip of Scotland, where the showers may well merge to give longer spells of rain and gale force winds for a time. As we move on through the afternoon, I think we'll start easing the showers off down in the south. In the north, they will remain very blustery and fall asleep or snow across the high ground. And then on Wednesday, remember what I was saying, there's a bit of a problem with wet and windy weather, possibility of some snow too across the high ground in the north, as that area of low pressure works its way right across the British Isles. Bit of dry weather perhaps down in the far south following on, and it may never even reach the far north. And then by Thursday, well, a bit of a mix again, with wet and windy conditions over towards the west, something slightly drier and brighter, Anna, to the east.